Okay, so the word problem suggests three different things to us. He wants to sell at least 10 surfboards and at least 20 wakeboards each month. So he wants, if we're gonna make this X and this Y, then he wants X to be at least, if not more, it can equal to or be greater than 10 surfboards each month and Y can be at least if not more than 20 wakeboards a month. And he wants to earn at least $2,000 a month, which means 150 times the number of surfboards he sells plus 100 times the number of wakeboards he sells has to equal or be greater than 2,000 a month. So we have to graph all three of these and see where they come together. So if X equals 10, then any ordered pair that we come up with has to have an X of 10, which means we're gonna draw a vertical line, solid line through 10. And X has to be greater than it. So anything over here counts. If y equals 20, then this is our wakeboard line and anything up here counts. And then we have to graph this line. 100y equals negative 150x plus 2,000 y equals negative 1.5x plus 20. Negative one and a half, that's three halves x. Okay, so we're gonna start at 20 and we're gonna go down three and over two down three and over two. And we're gonna end up with, down three and over two is somewhere over there. So it looks like this and that is a solid line. Okay, so it does kind of make a little thing and we're talking about zero, zero, is larger than 20, that's not true. So we're talking about this area here. So where they all meet is here. And so we are looking for something in this range. So we know that X has to equal at least 10 and Y has to equal at least 20. What if we just did that? If X is 10 and Y is 20, we're right there. Do we hit 2,000? These are all solid lines. So we should. So if, if we had 150 times 10, which is 1,500 plus 100 times 20, which is 2,000, yes, we will make more than are $2,000 and apparently it's just not going to be that hard because that is the minimum number of wakeboards and surfboards that we can make. So anything over 10 here and anything over 20 here is good as long as it's an integer it'll work. And you're going to find two possible combinations. So your book suggests 15 surfboards and 25 wakeboards and 25 surfboards and 20 wakeboards and all of that works, okay? Using this idea of there are three that you have to work with, pause here, try number four, check it out on page 437 and come back when you're done. So we've graphed X is greater X is greater than or equal to two, which means that's the blue on this side. Y is greater than or equal to two, so that's the purple up here. And then we've graphed this diagonal line showing lower here. So we're actually only talking about this triangle right 
here, and my triangle is a little smaller than it probably should be, we're going to list two possible combinations. So we know that x has to be larger than 2 and still, whoop, I dropped my x, and still satisfy this equation here. So let's try 3. Is 3 and y is 2. If x is 3, 3 times 4 is $12, and 2 times 2 is $4, and look, that comes under $20, so 3, 2 works. If x is 3, can y be 3? Well, this is still going to be 12, and 2 Pepper Jack is two dollars, so our cheddar is two dollars, so three times two is six. So that's going to equal eighteen, and we're still under twenty. It could be three and four. It could be that we go under three. What if we get two and a half pounds? Two and a half times four is ten. And could we get three pounds of cheddar? Three times two is six, that equals 16. So yes, that works too. So remember to work the prices in to your answers so that you know, so that you can answer the question fully. And all of these are possible combinations, okay? So for homework tonight, I'm gonna ask you to start on page 438. You're gonna do numbers 16 through 38 even. After this, we've got review. And the review starts on page 444, and you're gonna do all of them, numbers one through 60. Please make sure you ask me any questions that you have. We need to make sure all your questions get answered before the test, okay? Um, thank you much, and I will see you tomorrow.